checkbook. Understand how, you, how money actually works. I said it earlier, know the rules. I own over 100 houses. And the bank in the beginning didn't do me justice because they couldn't lend to me. And I kind of got upset and I was mad about it. And I got 10 homes. When it was, the mandatory was 10, you could own 10 homes before Freddie Mae and Fannie Mae ca capped you. When I got the 10 homes, I got upset because I'm like, why won't the banks fund me? I'm cash flowing, my debt looks right. I couldn't figure it out. It wasn't the bank's fault. It's not TD's fault. It was the federal regulations that were put upon them. They have to play by certain rules. But here's the thing, you have to know the rules. Before you play any game, know the rules. So in our communities, in our marginalized and black communities, I tell everyone, when you look at home ownership, one of the challenges isn't the fact that the banks aren't lending or the banks, they can't get loans. It's that sometimes they just don't know. If you go inside some of these communities and ask what equity is, you get a blank stare. How do I get equity? How do I use it? What does it look like? They can't tell you. And so the banks are now starting to understand that there are some mislingos in how they deal with our communities, and they're trying to get it right. The program we're working with on Baseball Road here in Charlotte, I'm holding these guys accountable because I've told them, I said, don't come into our, into our communities with a conversation of a handout or, or, or hand up. I need you to come in with handshakes. That's education and creating opportunities. And that's what we're doing today. 